Greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Um, it's been a couple of months since I created uh, the last one and just so you know um, my previous mic just suddenly doesn't work. It has just been standing here and now it's not working so I have no idea what's happened but I have to try this one instead and I don't know how the good sound is. How good the sound is. Yeah. So we'll try and see how it goes. Um, yes, so today we will create an in-game web browser by creating a 3D widget which actually is inside the game so you can browse the internet inside the game. Get it? Inside the game? <laughs> so, uh, first thing we will do is go to unrealtutorials.com downloadable content static mesh and scroll all the way down to ugly PC monitor static mesh and this is just simply an ugly PC monitor static mesh that we can use uh, if you want so click the download and let it download so let's go into the engine uh, I'm just using a regular first-person example uh, project. Uh, so I will start by creating a new folder. We will just call that in-game browser, for example. In this folder, we're going to create two blueprint, no, one blueprint class, one actor. And I will call this uh, browser monitor. And right click again and scroll down to user interface widget blueprints and we will call this uh, I don't know web browser yes now save and before anything else go to edit and down to plugins go to widgets and make sure you have enabled the web browser plugin now this is an experimental function so don't use this for your triple A awesome game you know just use it to play around with uh, and yes import find the monitor static mesh do not auto generate collision, do not import materials and import. So open the monitor, go to collision, add box simplified collision. That looks completely good. And then take the material and we will just find any kind of material. M frame perhaps, yeah. That's, that's good, you know. Save and exit that and save your entire project. Now, open the web browser widget. Now we will have some fun. So, experimental web browser. Drag this down to the canvas panel and let's see I'm gonna have it fill almost all of the screen and drag this to the middle ish and anchor to fill all like this now initial URL this is the website that the browser will start on and I'm just gonna use originally enough my own website unrealtutorials.com and check supports transparency this means that if you're not using a static mesh behind it like we're gonna do now then if you go on the other side you usually won't see anything there uh, but if it supports transparency you will actually see it from both sides uh, you know the 3d widget now Take a text box and drag that down as well to the canvas panel and put it 
in the middle-ish. Now this will show, this will be like uh, the address bar of your browser. So let the text be the same uh, address as the browser starts on. And go to style, then font, and just give it a okay font, I guess. 20, 20 is okay, yes. And I will drag this out so it's almost to the edges like this and anchor it to fill the top top part of the screen compile and save now go back again and we will go to the browser monitor here we will go to add components static mesh I will call this uh, the monitor and here on the side we will find our monitor so we will search for ugly and here the ugly PC monitor is there it is beautiful and ugly at the same time my baby <laughs> now add a new component I will take point light because the screen is emitting light Admittingly, it's emitting light. I will downsize the attenuation radius like this. Maybe give it a little bit, hint, little hint of blue or something like that. Then compile and save. Now add component and search for widget. We will call it the 3D widget. And as you see here, warning uses experimental class. And you know, that's because it's experimental. So it's not 100% done. It's just something to play around with. Now, in the user interface, you have space. It's set to world um, as a default, but you can't choose screen. If you choose screen, then it will uh, uh, paste itself on the screen like a regular widget at least that's what I think so you want world that way it will be inside of the world okay now on the widget class find the the one we created the web browser I'll search for web and here we are web browser now I'll just just align it correctly inside of the monitor Let's see, I'm going to downscale it a bit. 0 0.5, perhaps like that. Give me a little bit better, more accurate like this. Okay. It will probably need to be a little bit more downscaled on the z-axis perhaps like that okay now save and compile or compile and save and go back to the map and save the entire thing and let's just see if it's correctly uh, shown so I drag it into the scene and play let's see now okay this looks it looks uh, okay you know you can perfect this as much as you want but we're not gonna use time on that now now this is a great way to just you know have a you could have an auto playable video that pops up you know like a, a dude giving the player a mission you know go there and do that and then the video just stops but now we want to actually be able to navigate within the web browser so we need to do some things I'm actually gonna take this a little bit up I'm gonna take this a little bit down compile let's see now and take this a little bit I just have to do it I'm sorry I said I wasn't gonna use time on it but I have to okay so that's that's better 
as almost good enough. <laughs> so I'll stop there. So inside the blueprint class, uh, we will add a collision box, box collision. So when the player enters this, he or she will be able to maneuver the web. Do you want to maneuver the web today, honey? Oh yes, that would be great. So like that. So with the box, the collision selected, go down to events and check on component begin overlap. And select the box again and take on component end overlap. Like that. Okay. So drag this out and search for input uh, mode. And we want to have input mode, game, and user interface. That way you will be able to move in the game and move in the user interface. But in and we need to show the mouse, so we're gonna say set show mouse, uncheck the context sensitive, set show mouse cursor, check the show mouse cursor. Now, when we go away and leave the area where the monitor is, we want to set the input mode back to game only, like this. Now right click and search for get play pull Jesus player no what is it that I'm not understanding player controller oh yeah it's because of the context sensitive right there now connect this to the targets on these input modes and and the mouse cursor like that drag out from the widget to focus and search for user widget object and it already knew uh, that we're using this 3d widget that we have here but if it showed up like this for you then just drag in your 3d widget and get it and put it in here so here we have fixed, given the ability to have some fun. But before we enter the game, we're going to go back to the web browser and click the text box, then scroll all the way down. And here you have two different events. On text changed means that whenever you change this text in game, it will say apply the changes like pressing enter whenever you change it and that might not be so good so we're going to use on text committed so that means when you press enter you will actually enable the changes in the text to the browser yeah very difficult way to say it i'm sorry <laughs> so drag this out and take load url remove the context sensitive and use that and connect text to new URL. Target will be uh, this web browser. So just drag that in, get, and connect it to target. So when you do something to the text, it loads the URL and sends it to this browser. Logically enough. So compile and save. Now, Go into the game and let's see if we can have some fun with the internet. So play it. I'll just wait till it loads. So I entered the box and here you see my mouse cursor pops up. Now I can scroll my website like this. Pretty cool. And I can even look at this. With sound and everything. I can jump in the video, you know. Um, I cannot 
watch it on YouTube, you know, pop it up in a new win window and I cannot go into full screen. However, there's no problem in like writing here, youtube.com and you're on YouTube and surely you can watch videos and whatever or we can go to google.com not a problem so and you will be able to move around in the window by using the arrow keys and you know just move yourself away if you're done yes uh, am I forgetting anything um, yeah sometimes if you click in here the mouse might join outside because this is an experimental function if that happens then just go in and go out again so that's something to notice yeah um, yeah if you have any questions just let me know and I hope this was um, fun and whatever so have a great day and see you later